How many more will sit back patiently Waiting on humanity How many more will have to lose their lives While the world stands and stares How many more will keep on wondering Does the world really care? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه ووله وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد We seek refuge in Allah from Satan the cursed in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful we start we praise Allah who seek his help we ask him for his forgiveness whomever Allah guides no one can mislead whomever Allah led to be misled no one can guide him but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his true slave servant last prophet and messenger to mankind Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam his household his companions and who everybody who ever follows him till the day of judgment we ask Allah Azza Jal the Almighty with his names and attributes we invoke him subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who follow Rasulullah his sunnah until the last breath of our life to die on the state of Iman and belief to die on the sunnah of Rasulullah and Milla of Ibrahim alayhi salam and to be resurrected with and under the banner of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to receive the intercession of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us and to be among those who go with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in mm-hmm. Jannah and to be in the highest place of paradise with him, with the pious and righteous, Allahumma ameen, to proceed. My brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, my viewers everywhere, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And again, we meet one more time to help each other to be calm and to be tranquil and to be comfortable and to be comforted with the dhikr of Allah, with the ayat of Allah, with the Qur'an, with the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu drawing from them, construing from them, concluding from them to the very fact that we are lost without Allah's guidance, that we will be an easy prey to the devil, to say- Satan, to shaitan, to Iblis, to the challenge that Allah azza wa jal made for all of us as humans on this earth against his whispers, and we try our best to prevent and to block his plans and his plots and his approaches. Why I said to be calm? Because we all tend to be angry in a way or another. Everyone have their switch and everyone have their limit. That's why anger is one of the worst thing that a person can have. Because it takes away from you your spiritual focus. What is that again? Spiritual focus. We, we talked about that before. We are physical, spiritual, and intellectual, mental. If you are not mentally focused, you lose. If you are not spiritually focused, you lose. And if you are not physically focused, you lose as well. But they have different ways. It's not our topic today to talk about that. But let's try to diffuse or learn how to diffuse our anger. Defuse. There is a fuse that you need to defuse. So you need to take that fuse away or make sure that that plug of comfort and tranquility is there. One time, there were two people arguing in the masjid of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then one of them was angry until you can see his jugular veins popping out his eyes becoming red and his face becoming red. So tense, you can see through the gestures and through the moves how the body language, as they said, the expressions of the body. Rasulullah looked at and he was telling a few of his companions, I know something, if he says, all of this would go away from him. What is it, Ya Rasulullah? They asked, he said, saying, A'udhu Billahi min ash shaytan al-rajeem. So preventing the whisper of shaitan by diffusing anger. How you diffuse anger? Seeking the help of Allah. When you are angry, it is very hard (laughs) to be by yourself, to be alone. Because you are angry now. So you seek the help of Allah Azza wa Jal. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever is angry, make wudu. Because anger is like fire and wudu is with water and water extinguishes fire. 
If you're standing, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, sit down. If you are sitting down and you become angry, lie down. If you're walking, stop. If you're running, walk easily. But change whatever situation. That's the key here. Changing whatever situation that you are angry with. Now, how you diffuse your anger? Prevent the causes. It's cause and effect. What makes you angry? Someone makes you angry, give them advice or try to avoid them if you can. Some situation makes you angry. You are angry because the house is not organized. Well, organize it. Help organize it. And instead of being angry at someone thinking that they're supposed to be the ones who are responsible for that, try to be a reason to help them fulfill their responsibility. And that happens in every house. Thinking that somebody's supposed to be cleaning and somebody's supposed to be washing and your clothes supposed to be ironed and your food supposed to be ready. I know for sure everyone knows what I'm talking about here. So instead of only recognizing a problem with its effect, recognize it by its causes. What caused this happen? Maybe that person is disheartened. Maybe, maybe your spouse is not appreciated. Maybe your children, they have a certain need for love and affection. Maybe, maybe, maybe try to find the cause. And instead of saying, I am angry at all of you because of this and that, try to be uh, one who helps those who are responsible to be fulfilling of the responsibility and you help as well. So find the cause of your anger. Is it within yourself? Well, like we mentioned in the previous episode, suppress your own, change, break your bad habits, your own bad habits that causes anger. Suppress your evil desires that causes anger. See your shortcomings and then try to work on it. Are you angry because of someone or something or a situation or the circumstances or the environment you're in? Well, try to change all of that and step away. If you cannot, try to change it from within as much as you can. If you cannot, then you have to be always connected with Allah and seek the friendship and the companionship of those who will help you to cope with the situation that causes your anger, but you cannot change it. You cannot change the society around you. You cannot change those news channels that burn you every day and makes you angry at the community, at, at, at the people. So instead of this taking you to do something bad, and you cannot change what the news channels are, are giving you and making you angry, try to stop and try to change yourself. Try to avoid that. And if you find no way around it, try to change yourself and try to find someone to ha have a support system for you. Sahaba of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi I give you something to be an, an analogous to that, to draw an analogy from. He said, don't stay on the path of the people walking. Don't sit there. So the Rasulullah, sometimes we have needs. Maybe they have businesses, they have something, they sit in the road while watching people going back and forth. The Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said, you have to give the road its right. What is its right, Ya Rasulullah? He said, you answer the salam, you do lower your gaze, and you do stop the harm like that if you have to. Same thing. If you have to deal with something that makes you angry and you cannot step away from or you cannot change it, then you have to change yourself and strengthen yourself and have a support system. If you go to your work and then find something that intimidates you, have istighfar in your, uh, uh, in your way. Listen to a lecture, listen to Quran in your way going and your coming. So try to focus on the causes of the anger. That's before, that's preventive medication here. What if that was not taken care of, and now I am angry. Then Allah Azza wa told us, Kazmul Ghayz, you have to suppress that anger somehow. Everybody's aware while, while, while they get angry. And we don't get angry, like if it's on a scale from 1 to 10, we don't get from 1 to 10 suddenly. You go 1, maybe you go 3, 5, 7, 9, then 10. So when you are at that scale and you find that you are going up, as we mentioned, you have to sit if you're standing, you have to lie down if you're sitting, if you are walking, you stop, you make wudu, you step out of the place that you are to try to cope with the situation here. And that's why Allah Azza wa said, وَالْكَاثُمِينَ الْغَيْضَ وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Those who suppress their anger, those who forgive people, even those who cause them to be angry, and Allah loves those who have ihsan, who give more than they are required to. There's a story that 
uh, some someone who had a servant, and that servant he brought brought hot water to give to to help them to do the wudu. And when the servant put the water, it became hot, so it burned the skin of the person. So he became very angry, and before he does something, the servant reminded him with the verse, "Wal kaadimin al those who suppress their anger. He said, "I suppressed it." Wal afin an nas, those who forgive others. He said, "I forgive you." <laughs> See how the Quran, Subhanallah, becomes de comes there to save the person, save both of them. Save the servant from punishment and save the master from transgression based on their own anger. And then the last, after you know, suppressing his anger, and yeah, I said, I've suppressed it, forgiving, I forgive you. Allah Allah loves those who have ihsan. He said, You are free for the sake of Allah. Subhanallah. This is how it is. When you are angry, take control. And then if Allah Azza Jal give us a, a verse in the Quran, it's amazing verse. Every time I recite that verse, subhanAllah, I find it is so amazing. And I wonder how I can do that. It's very hard. Allah Azza Jal said among the descriptions of the believers in Surah Al-Shura, Allah said they did pray and they consult with each other, Amr al-Shura baynahum and all of that. Allah Azza Jal said, وَإِذَا مَا غَضِبُوا هُمْ يَغْفِرُونَ Wow. Whenever they get angry, they forgive. And they forgive wherever they get angry? How? Every time they get angry, they are forgiving. So here Allah did not say that they don't get angry, because some of us will get angry. Some of us will get angry at certain things. Some of us will not get angry easily, but they eventually will. So Allah Azza said, all of those, whether they get angry fast, whether they get angry intermediate, whether they don't get angry much, whether they get rarely get angry, whenever they get angry, they will forgive. So forgiving is associated with anger? Yes. So that's the way to cope with it while one is angry. After, after, then let's say you could not prevent it, and you became angry, you could not hold it, then try to change the result. So you became angry, and you offended someone, when you cool down, apologize. Believe me, it is very, very important, my brothers and sisters, especially to your family members, young or old. It does not mean how young is your children. It does not mean you are a man or a woman. Apologize. We as Muslims have to learn how to apologize. Wallahi, it is one of the best cures for anger. Whenever you are angry and some, you uttered something or said something, subhanallah, you will find calmness and peace in your heart. Your ego will change completely. Your pride will go away in, when it is in the wrong application. Apologize for your spouse, to your spouse, uh, apologize to your neighbor, apologize to your friends that you offend, apologize to people who are lower than you specifically, or you think that they are lower than you in a way or another, apologize to them, say, I'm sorry, please help me. Sometimes I get angry, please help me to calm down. Whenever you see me angry, take my hand and tell me, not to be angry like that. So my brothers and sisters, suppressing or diffusing anger is one of the ways. When a person is extremely happy, whenever a person is extremely sad, whenever a person is extremely scared, whenever a person is extremely angry, those are easy times for the jinn and for the shaitan to get into you as a human being. Remember, extreme happiness, extreme sadness, extreme fear, and extreme anger. Those are weak points through which shaitan will get and whisper to you and the jinn will get into you. So whenever you're angry, remember, Remember those. Whenever you are extreme sad, remember, and make dua to Allah Azza Jal. When you're extremely happy, say Alhamdulillah and make sajda to shukr to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. When you are extremely afraid, remember the dhikr of Allah, your hearts will be comforted. And Allah Azza Wa Jal will give you the best and be just with others. When you are just and you're not transgressing anyone, you're not committing shirk, you're not associating anyone with Allah, you are doing all the tools, using all the tools that we mentioned, then it will become easy to diffuse your anger and to stay away from shaitan and keep shaitan away from you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who are always calm and tranquil 
with the dhikr of Allah, with the piety and righteousness, with salah, with Quran, with dhikr, with invocation, with dua, with the remembrance of Allah, with all of a'mal and the, the actions of albir, actions of virtue. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم may Allah عز وجل forgive us all may Allah سبحانه وتعالى clean our hearts purify our intentions fix our deeds forgive our sins والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How many more will keep on suffering How many more will keep on dying how many more will sit back patiently Waiting on humanity How many more will have to lose their lives While the world stands and stares How many more will keep on wondering Does the world really care? Mm. No more killing, no more war on suffering how many more will keep on dying how many more will sit back patiently waiting on humanity how many more will have to lose their lives while the world 